Welcome to Telecom Tips and Strategies video presented by Telcon Associates, a leader in telecom auditing and bill management services for over 32 years. Today's short video training deals with a topic that could be costing your company thousands of dollars in unnecessary telecom spending, namely employees. When it comes to telecom costs, many companies in America are being ripped off right under their noses, and the culprit oftentimes is employees. Company workers can knowingly and inadvertently cost a company a small fortune in unnecessary telecom spending. Employee abuses can be as innocent as using the paper use features that can and should be blocked to outright and systematic fraud. The good news is that all companies can eliminate these abuses with routine diligence, strict company policies, and just plain common sense. Here are five things you can do immediately to identify and stop telecom abuses by employees. Number one. Establish a written company policy for employee telecom usage. Make an inventory of all the services and features that your company utilizes. Then break it down and list acceptable usage for each company department. For example, salespeople who are on the road constantly will have more wireless usage or calling card privileges than someone who spends more time at the home office. Number two, block unnecessary pay-per-use features on the local service plans. With the exception of directory assistance, most local service providers can block unwanted pay-per-use features. Your local package may include some features that were previously billed on a per-use basis. Check with your local carrier to determine the features you want, then block others that can easily be abused. These would include features like directory assistance call completion, call return, three-way calling, and especially 900 number services. Number three, block all inbound collect calls. Accepting collect calls can be a huge expense if done on a regular basis. Calls that originate from a state penitentiary are handled through a company called Correctional Billing Services. If you find this company name included on any bills, then an employee is accepting collect calls from an inmate inside a prison or correctional facility. If the line is reaching a DID number, it's easy to track the culprit accepting the calls. If not, it may be more difficult to determine just who is receiving these calls. You can and should block collect calls from being accepted. Call your local exchange carrier and let them know all the lines you would like blocked. Number four, designate and train one or more employees to review bills on a monthly basis. Most employee abuses can be uncovered with routine auditing of local phone bills. Assign one or more employees to thoroughly review the bills each and every month. In doing so, you'll uncover not only employee abuses, but also a wide variety of abuse and fraud by the carriers themselves. Number five, consider outsourcing your telecom department to an experienced telecom bill management firm. Many companies are now utilizing telecom bill management and consulting firms to take care of every aspect of their telecom departments. For a small fee, you can have all the headaches and time-consuming tasks of bill paying, moves, ads, changes, and monthly auditing done for you. They will uncover employee abuses and fix them as they occur. This kind of arrangement can easily pay for itself and eliminates the need for a salaried employee to spend time reviewing and paying bills and especially dealing with the telecom carriers each time a line or feature is added, removed, or changed. Telecom overspending can be a real source of waste in any company. The bigger the company, the chances for employee abuses grow. Make it a point to implement the steps you need to take to identify and eliminate these abuses. Failing to eliminate employee abuses could be costing your company a small fortune in unnecessary telecom spending. This has been Telecom Video Training by Telecom Associates. For more information on how to gain control and reduce spending in your telecom department, visit us at www.teleconassociates.com. Thanks for allowing Telecom Associates to serve you.